Tomorrow marks three years since this riot rocked the nation's capital. America watched as thousands of people breached the People's House. Five people died in the chaos. More than 1,200 people were arrested. Several of the people arrested are from our area. First Lord Four has been following their cases from the very beginning. Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger has an update on where they are now. Eight people from our area have already had their day in court for what happened on January 6th. Some receiving probation, others jail time. But three are still facing pending charges, including one known as a Cardinals superfan. I'm proud I was there to stand for America when the spineless Congress would not. Daniel Donnelly, now legally known as Rally Runner, used to be seen hyping crowds around Bush Stadium, but instead has had to leave a federal courthouse on charges of taking part in the January 6th riot. He's taken the same position all along, and he's had, I would say, nothing to hide. St. Louis attorney Scott Rosenblum now represents Rally Runner on charges of unlawfully entering the Capitol and impeding police. He says he cannot discuss their specific defense, but says he and others are waiting on the Supreme Court to decide on obstruction issues related to the 6th. The criminal process against Capitol defendants, he says, is very much ongoing. And I think it has to be sorted out and parsed out to determine um, who was responsible for what and what punishment and not just meet out blanket punishment for everybody that showed up at the Capitol that day. That would be um, inappropriate and unlawful. Two other local men also still face charges together for assaulting law enforcement officers. Prosecutors say they can be seen on video shoving a bike rack into police. Jason Wallace has no criminal history and has been released pending the proceedings. His attorney saying in a statement, quote, he went only to attend a rally. He believed what Mr. Trump was saying about the election and thought it was his duty as an American to be there. His only intention that day was to show support for his country and nothing more. But Jared Luther Owens, who has a criminal history, is still behind bars. Federal prosecutors recently released text messages from him reading, quote, LOL, we broke at least three police lines. And, quote, I finally got to blank up some cops. I didn't steal or break anything. It was kind of locker room talk, you know, that. They had been there and all of this had happened. Owens' attorney, Christy Fulnecki, says he and others are simply political prisoners. She says the prosecutor's evidence is not proof. Watching that video, I just, it looked like they were pushing it out of the way. And I don't even think it was my client. I don't think he even touched it. Hoping for his release and ultimate vindication in court. As far as we're concerned, my client is not guilty on all charges. A judge in D.C. is deciding if Owen should stay behind bars, but looks to be making preparations for him to return home to Missouri. We'll certainly keep tracking all of these cases. For First Alert 4 Investigates, I'm Lauren Traeger.